Evening, everybody, and welcome back to Monday Night Raw. Where again, we're starting off with the new general manager, the braided our superstar Edge, and we understand that he has some important announcements to make about the way Raw ended last week with uh, AJ Styles versus John Cena. So let's see what he has to say. <coughs> Hello, everybody. I would like to introduce y'all guys back to Monday Night Raw. I hope y'all guys are having a good evening, and I hope y'all guys enjoy the last two tournament matches, which is exactly what I want to talk about here tonight. First of all, is that, uh, unfortunately, what AJ Styles did was not, I did not condone it at all, and I, that type of behavior will not be accepted here at, uh, Monday Night Raw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suspend AJ Styles here tonight. He will not show up here tonight, and, uh, he might show up next week. That's his choice. Actually, I'm gonna schedule him for a match next week, and he's gonna be, it's gonna be a real tough one for AJ Styles, so we better get ready. I'm just trying to prove him that uh, actions like that will be not be tolerated here at Monday Night Raw. <clears throat> as well as John Cena. We all know he won the match with getting a, uh, with getting an AA at him at AJ Styles at the end of the match. But he has been put through a table. And unfortunately that means that John Cena has been injured. He will not be continuing on in the... Uh, he will not be continuing on in the tournament, although he did win, which is really bad news for some of y'all guys. But um, unfortunately, he suffered he suffered a spine injury, and he will no longer be able to compete in the tournament. So that means that Christian gets an automatic buy into the final, which means that Christian will automatically be in the semi in the final at Money in the Bank for the World Heavyweight Champion. Which um, <clears throat> congratulations to Christian. But uh, AJ Styles, I have. Uh, this is for you. I have spoken with John Cena. I have visited him at the hospital. And he has told me that he although he might be injured, he's gonna be a he's gonna be he's gonna be back by money in the bank. And he also told me, AJ Styles, you better get ready for the ass beating of your life at Money in the Bank, which um honestly, I condone that. So that's why at Money in the Bank I'm gonna make it official. We're gonna have AJ Styles versus John Cena at Money in the Bank. That's all I have to say. Christian gets an automatic buy-in and I hope y'all guys enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, can you believe that news? John Cena will not be able to compete in the tournament and somebody's beeping outside like <clears throat> But anyway, John Cena will not be able to compete and Christian will automatically be in the final at Money in the Bank which means he will have a chance, his chance to be a at the World Heavyweight Champion has gotten even bigger. But the question is, who will he be facing at Money in the Bank? Will he be facing this man, Andrade? Will he be facing Braun Strowman, Seth Rollins, or Drew McIntyre? By the end of tonight, we're going to narrow down those options and we're going to see who he really is going to compete at Money in the Bank. But anyway, tonight we have Andrade versus Braun Strowman. Here comes our first contender. Now let's have next. <clears throat> and here is his competitor. And no boy is it a huge one. No pun intended. Here comes the main man himself, Braun Strowman. Which um <clears throat> is possibly the favorite out of everybody in this tournament to go on, on the way and become the new WWE Champion, uh, I definitely see why, he is more of the bigger, stronger man, he might do light work of Andrade here, <sighs> we all know Andrade has his, uh, fight in him, so, let's see how this goes, here we go, Andrade versus Braun Strowman, Oh my goodness, the power of Braun Strowman. Ooh, that definitely doesn't have to feel good. And running. Just imagine the size of Braun Strowman just running at you. Oh my goodness, what a drop kick. But anyway, can y'all guys believe that huge announcement that uh, the Rated R Superstar Edge made earlier tonight? He has stated that AJ Styles has been suspended, so he will not be here tonight. And John Cena has, been, has suffered a spinal injury. Uh, it's thankfully it's only minor, so he will not be out of comp com he will not be out of competition for too long. But he will not be here tonight nor next week. But he has stated that I will be back by Money in the Bank, and it just stops. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. 
which uh, John Cena saying that is never a good sign. But the Rated R Superstar goes way back with John Cena, and he has stated John Cena knows how to whoop ass, so he made it happen. He thought it wasn't fair for uh, what AJ Styles did, and he said that type of action will not be tolerated here at Monday Night Raw. So he has made it official that at Money in the Bank, we're going to have AJ Styles versus John Cena, which is probably going to be one hell of a match. <coughs> As he also stated that Christian will automatically be at Money in the Bank, and uh, he will face he might face one of these two superstars here, Andrade or Braun Strowman. Right now, by the way this match is going, and it feels like it's going to be Braun Strowman. Just playing with Andrade is Braun Strowman. The power of the man. I really, really hope Andrade did pray before this match. Because, boy, is he going to need him. Andrade just getting demolished here. I feel like Andrade really got the uh, bad pull here. Going against Braun Strowman in the first round. But Braun Strowman... Oh, sorry. Andrade trying to do anything he can here tonight. But it's just difficult when you're going up against a huge, huge man that is... Oh, float over. He nailed it. Float over neck breaker. Could that be the opportunity that uh, Andrade needs you to get back in here? Oh, no. No, no, no. Braun Strowman says no. That title is going back around my waist. Just dem demolishing is him. Honestly, Andrade, if I were you, I don't know, man. I would just... Oh, no, he's not a quitter. That's something we all know about Andrade. He is never a quitter. Now Andrade trying to get some... Oh, my... What a clothesline. Actually knocked down Braun Strowman. How many times have we actually seen the big man get knocked out of his feet? It's a very rare sight to see. Oh, my goodness. But just being knocked down again. Oh, no. Right in the middle of the ring. Oh, Andrade definitely gonna if he feel that. Andrade, don't get up, man. I don't, I don't know, man. This has been really, really tough for Andrade here. There, it's it has to be it. One, two, three. Light work for Braun Strowman. Unfortunately for Andrade, he just couldn't get the job done, which uh. I don't blame him. It's not a tough. It's not an easy thing to do. I'm sorry. It's not an easy thing to do at all. Going against Braun Strowman, but um, maybe Andrade deserves to be. He definitely deserves to be um a title holder. Probably not the WWE champion so far, but he probably has a huge advantage of being at the United States champion, which um I just stated that uh. We still have one more United States Championship match qualifier, so could that could Andrade be next week? Who knows? Let's see what we have next here on Monday Night Raw. And here we go with the second leg of the Fatal 4-Way match. As we all know, Apollo Crews won last week's Fatal 4-Way, which means this man and Apollo Crews, aka Power and Glory, will be at Money in the Bank. Either ass or competing for the WWE Tag Team Champions. If Cedric Alexander can get a huge victory here, Fatal Four at this Fatal Four Way match, then Power and Glory are automatically Tag Team Champions. But that's a big if. He has to get past three other men. Will he have the power to do it? We're gonna have to find out here. Here comes one of his opponents. Here comes Ivar coming down to the ring. Definitely has to be disappointed that uh his partner Eric didn't get the um duck job done. Sorry, the job done last week. But um he's hoping that uh he, he can get a win here tonight so him and Eric can go to Money in the Bank to compete for them tag team champions. But uh, again, it's going to be a hard fight. It's going to be a hard fight. Every man for himself here tonight.
<clears throat> Same deal with Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson. Honestly, who who knows who is the favorite here in this match? It probably has to come down to experience or size. Officially going up against three other men. Who knows? Carl Anderson has Carl Anderson and um. Luke Gallows been longer as a tag team, but this isn't a tag team match. This is every man for himself, which uh, Carl Anderson has been really lately in, in singles competition. So, will he be able to get the job done tonight? Only him and Luke Gallows can hope. And here comes another half of Authority is of Pain. Of course, pr probably disappointed that uh, last week his tag team partner got pinned. Which meant that they uh, didn't go through towards Money in the Bank. But he's here hoping to get the job done here tonight. And um, it's probably going to be a tough challenge. I'll tell you what. It, pr it sure as hell didn't look easy for his tag partner last week. But he says he is determined to have them tag team titles around their waist. What happened tonight? Will they go on to face? Will they go on to face power and glory at Money in the Bank? We're gonna have to find out and see. As the bell rings and we get on their way, huge uppercut from Carl Anderson and Cedric Alexander. Who do y'all guys probably the biggest um, target here tonight? I would say Cedric Alexander. Not because of his size per se, but mainly because if he wins, then it's over for all the other tag teams. If he wins here tonight, Power and Glory automatically tag team champions. And that means that all the other tag teams here tonight will not get another title shot until next month's pay-per-view. Which, the next pay-per-view after uh, Money in the Bank is going to be Elimination Taper. And that's not until six weeks away. So I feel like these tag teams definitely don't want to wait six weeks to get another opportunity to become tag team champions. So I feel like Cedric Alexander is probably the biggest, uh, the biggest target here tonight. Which, Carl Anderson knocks him out. But Rizar, you cannot take his eyes off the big man. Destroying Carl Anderson's knee. But of course, the veteran stays of Carl Anderson escaping out the ring and dodging Cedric Alexander. Now it's a big fight outside the ring. All four men going at it here tonight. Cedric Alexander throwing Carl Anderson. Who knows what this man has in mind here. Cedric Alexander knows all he needs is one three count or one tap out to, to become tag team champions. The way title matches work in, the, in this universe is that any man can become champion um, no matter if it's a WWE or a tag team as long as they are impressive they will get a contenders match you really have to be impressive in your matches though and uh, let's say Cedric Alexander and Apollo Crews actually win here tonight Cedric Alexander against the big W here tonight and they become tag team champions Rematch causes do exist here in this uh, universe mode, but the only way you can actually do is you have to actually successfully defend your championships before you can get a a um, a rematch clause. Let's say Cedric Alexander and Apollo Crews wins tonight, they automatically become tag team champions. But if they go into Extreme Rules and actually successfully defend their titles, and they lose it next pay per view, they get a rematch, which um. That's the way here. If you're just a one-time champion, you will not get a rematch. You're going to have to start and climb your way back to the top of the mountain just like everybody else. Which, I just stated that new rule, which I feel like is probably good news for everybody. That means everybody can be a, a champion, not just one person using a rematch clause over and over. Which is something that um, Edge, the Raider or Superstar, doesn't want to see. As Cedric Alexander and Carl Anderson fight inside the ring now with Ivar and um, 
Rizzo are fighting outside. Carl Anderson in the corner. Cedric Alexander has something devious in mind, but gets reversed. Cedric Alexander now in the corner. Oh, what a reversal by Cedric. That is something about him. The quickness with Carl Anderson getting dropped on the floor. Now all four men are inside the ring. Oh, what a, what a jab from Carl Anderson. And the slam. Cedric Alexander definitely feeling rolling out the ring to get a breather. While Ivar and Rizar are still going at it. Carl Anderson wants to be a bit nosy. Gets in the match. What an uppercut. Carl Anderson trying to go money in the bank. Carl Anderson pinning him. One. Two. Oh, kick out from Definitely has not done enough damage here tonight. Carl Anderson again going against Cedric Alexander. That is definitely a smart move. Targeting him. They they want that tag team opportunity. They don't want to just lose it right away by letting Cedric win here tonight. As now Luke Gallows. I mean sorry. Carl Anderson going against Rizar and Cedric Alexander going another huge uppercut this time to another member. Ivar just toying with Cedric here while Carl Anderson just watches probably smart letting them two beat each other up oh no he wants to get involved now when he's done watching he goes for it he hits it Ivar just taking a huge smack Car uh, Cedric Alexander trying to take the pin trying to steal it in front of Cedric what was he thinking I'm oh, sorry instead of in front of Carl what was he thinking oh Carl definitely did not appreciate that by Cedric. A pinfall on Rizar. Will this be it? It is. Oh my goodness gracious. Ivar and Eric are going to Money in the Bank to compete for the Tag Team Champions. The Viking Raiders. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't really watch it read nowadays. So I really hope that's what they're called. But here we have it here folks. We have another match of Money in the Bank already in the books. We have Eric, the team of Eric and Ivar competing against Power and Glory Cedric and uh, Apollo Crews to determine the new tag team champions. What a match that's gonna be. And here comes the main man himself, Kurt Hawkins. Backstory behind this match, Kurt Hawkins actually went up to Edge's office and said, Hey boss, I want a Money in the Bank qualifier match. And Edge just stated, Are you sure? Kurt Hawkins said, Yes, I would do anything. I would face anybody in that ring for to get a chance to be at uh, the Raw qualifiers, to be at the Raw Money in the Bank. And he said, Edge said, You know what? I love a good underdog story. I have been an underdog plenty of times in my career. So he has decided to grant the decision to let Kurt Hawkins be in a Raw qualifier match. And um, he stated before Kurt Hawkins left the, the ring, he stated, Oh, and be careful because your opponent is going to be very, very tough. We still don't know who that opponent is, but uh, I guess we're going to have to find out. In oh, Lord. The Big Red Machine. Edge sure wasn't playing when he said you got to be careful. Kane has the possibility of retiring Kurt Hawkins here tonight. Kane is really not a man you should take lightly. Really not a man. He's a very, very dangerous man. And imagine him in a ladder match. We know Big Show's in it. I'm sorry, Big Show is not in it. He's in an Estates match. But we know whoever wins this match. Imagine Kane in a ladder match. Imagine him with a ladder in his hand running at you with a ladder. Boy, that sure is a scary sight. And I thought Kane by himself was a scary sight. Well, Kurt Hawkins is going to need a miracle here tonight to be able to uh, qualify for that raw money in the bank. Will he get it? He's going to try his hardest, but here we go. This is to determine who will be in the raw money in the bank match. Another qualifier. Kurt Hawkins versus Kane. As Kane already in control this match. Kane taking no prisoners here tonight. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Like I said, no prisoners. Kane in full control. I'm probably, uh, bet Kurt Hawkins is second guessing his decision here tonight. Did he really want to be in that, uh, raw money in the bank as much as he thought he did? Probably after seeing his opponent here. Probably not. But Kurt Hawkins still not giving up. He goes back inside the ring. Oh, Kurt Hawkins has a fight in him. Oh my goodness, that's the problem we're facing against a man the size of him. Kane. He is so huge. But that's not going to stop Kurt Hawkins. Oh my goodness, don't tell me he's going for it. Oh, we didn't think so. Kurt Hawkins tried to pick up the big red machine. But of course, the size of Kane just... There was no way that was going to happen here tonight. That's not stopping Kurt Hawkins though. Oh, you're just gonna piss off the big red machine, Hawkins. That's not a smart decision. Again, knees to the face. What was Kurt Hawkins thinking? He's probably now pissed off the big red machine. Kane is not a man you want to piss off. We've seen that plenty of times. Backbreaker. Yep, the big red monster is definitely upset now. Irish was to the corner. He, oh, Kurt Hawkins. No, no. You definitely angered him now. If he wasn't angry before, neck breaker. Just taunting Kurt Hawkins. Kane basically knows that that raw uh, ladder match is... That's that remaining spot at the raw ladder match is his. Elbow to the face. Big boot busted Kurt Hawkins open. Kane saying, you know what? This match is over. Just give me that. Kurt Hawkins. Kane is actually surprised. And I think everybody else too is, is as well. Come on. Kane is a veteran in this match. He knows every move. Every reversal to every move. But Kurt Hawkins just has to get some fight in him. Oh my goodness. This is just kind of sad to be watching. Oh, he's blatantly choking Kurt Hawkins with that big hand. You know what? Kane let him go. Does he feel sympathy? Does he feel... Oh, never mind, I guess. He just wants to do more damage on him. He has that big hand wrapped around his neck. Choke slam right in the middle of the ring. Oh boy, we're sorry Kurt Hawkins, but it looks like your raw money in the bank um, dreams are over. And they sure are. Kane with big victory here tonight to guarantee his spot. Guarantee a ticket to Raw's money in the bank. Kurt Hawkins definitely disappointed here tonight. Um, he was truly the underdog going into a decent match, but... Um, he just left with a busted nose, a big choke slam right in the middle of the ring. Kurt Hawkins got to go back to the drawing board. We hope this isn't the last time we see Kurt Hawkins. Definitely a favorable underdog, but uh, of course, Kane was always going to win this match, unfortunately. We can go up next. It just stated that he wants to make the women's match for Money in the Bank. He said that next week, sorry, this week we're going to have Amber Moon versus Zelina. And then next week, we're going to have Alexa Bliss versus, sorry, we're going to have Alexa Bliss versus Becky Lynch. I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. And the winner of this match, oh my, what is this? Zelina, what is she doing? She just, earlier this night, she just saw her man Andrade get beaten up. She's taking no prisoners here. Zelina doing anything she can. She wants that wall. Sorry. That Raw's Women's Champion. Oh my goodness. Zelina has out of. Has lost control of this match. Just smashing Ember's skull. On, their, on the uh, ramp. And that's probably not a good feeling. Just throwing. Just toying with her. Zelina probably like. Andre lost his Andrade lost his match, but I'm not gonna lose mine. No means any means necessary. 
with Ember Moon getting back in control in this match, putting Zelina back in the ring. But you have to think that uh, Ember Moon is not in 100% here tonight after that sneak attack from behind. And she's probably showing it right now. Zelina is just taking advantage of her. Strikes by Ember Moon trying to get back in this match. We all know. Oh, Lord. Zelina just taunting Ember. The fans clearly don't like that. Ember is definitely not 100. Ember Moon is definitely not 100% here tonight. How can she be? She just got her soul. She got her skull crashed into the to the to the metal ramp like five times. And that choke hold is definitely just uncalled for. Doing anything she can to be Raw Woman's Champion. Poor Ember Moon in the middle of the ring. Oh, what a leg drop on the top of the ring. Ember Moon is a fighter though. She is not going to let that stop her. But you, you, you can tell just by the way she's walking. By the way she's looking. That her head is definitely not in the right place. She could have a possible concussion. And, she, and Zelina just doesn't freaking care. Back with the chokings. Oh my goodness. Ref, stop this match. Ember is definitely not in the right headspace here tonight. But Zelina just doesn't care, man. Drop kick. Oh, right in the bottom. Of she, as, It's like she hasn't even suffered enough. What do you, what more do you want, Zelina? You could possibly just give this woman a concussion. Ember just knocked out code. But Zelina's still not done. What did, what did she have planned here tonight? She just threw it back in the apron again. Oh, Ember Moon is a fighter though. Climbing to the top. Hits her with the knees. Ember Moon definitely not looking 100% here tonight. She's, she's basically wobbling, wobbling over and over. Oh, Selena getting back up. It's only a matter of time before she puts this to bed. Kicks. Oh, poor Ember. That sneak attack from behind was definitely uncalled for. What a clothesline. Ember looks like she wants... No, there's no chance. Lena said, no way. That Raw Woman's Champion is mine. Oh, knees to the face. As if, as if she just has done enough. And a... Oh, my goodness. Well, yeah, there was no way Ember was going to kick out of that. First of all, she got... She got her head smashed into the metal ramp like five times. She gets blatantly choked twice. She gets thrown out the ring twice. And she gets knees to the face. She could have a possible concussion here tonight. And Zelina just doesn't care. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, after that um devastating display, medical Ember Moon has been rushed to a hospital. Um, it has been confirmed that she has suffered a concussion. Hopefully, it's nothing major, and uh, all prayers to go to Amber Moon. Hopefully, she can feel better. And but uh, fortunately, Mizelina passes to the uh, match at Money in the Bank. But anyway, moving on, the show must continue. And now we have the last match in this tournament, which is going to be Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins looks focused to get that World Heavyweight Championship around his waist. He wants to go to Money in the Bank. It's not going to be an easy, easy fight, but he is ready. Here we go. Here we go. Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Two evenly matched superstars here, both gunning for the same thing. That world heavyweight champion. Both of these wrestlers have the same kind of style. More of a get in your face type of guy. And uh, Seth Rollins proven that right now. Or else he just reversed with a DDT on Drew McIntyre and chops. Seth Rollins obviously the quicker one between these two. And the more athletic one. 
as he just hits a crossbody. But Seth Rollins could have just took himself out with that. He's going for an early pin. Here we go. One. No, definitely not enough to knock down Drew McIntyre. The brawler from Scotland. And update about the Ember Moon incident. She is she is currently in a hospital right now. It has been concerned. It has been um, checked that she, in fact, actually has a concussion. Uh, speedy recovery, hopefully, for um, Ember Moon. And any more updates? We still don't know how far she, how long she's gonna be out for. As soon as we know, we're gonna let y'all guys know. <clears throat> as Drew McIntyre just throwing Seth Rollins across the ring. Seth Rollins definitely wants his WWE title match. I mean, his World Heavyweight Champion. Seth Rollins is no stranger to gold around his waist. Former WWE, former Universal, former Tag Team, former United States and Intercontinental Champion. While Drew McIntyre is also no stranger to gold around his waist. Former Intercontinental, former Tag Team Champion, and former NXT Champion. Seth Rollins is clearly in control here tonight. Um... Honestly, the thing I would have to say to for Drew McIntyre to worry about with Seth Rollins is clearly his uh, agileness and his speed. Something that you gotta kind of worry about Drew McIntyre for Seth Rollins is a uh, <coughs> Drew McIntyre is more of a get in your face type of guy. He's definitely not afraid of uh, just like that. He's definitely not afraid of just punch you close fist right in the face. He is a brawler from Scotland, like we mentioned. This man was born to fight. As he kicks out Rollins, what does he have here? Oh no, not on a concrete. Oh my goodness. Seth Rollins definitely got a few of that. But Drew McIntyre to the steel steps. Oh lord, that is on the boundary of being illegal or not. Reversal by Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has him in the corner. Jabs to the head. Seth Rollins showing, hey, I can throw, throw a punch too. It's on a count of eight, but Seth Rollins doesn't want to win by a count out. He's a fighter. He wants to actually win this fair and square. Whether that's a smart thing to do, who knows? Knockout. Oh boy, Seth Rollins, they're fighting in the crowd. They're fighting in the crowd. This this wasn't supposed to happen. Oh my goodness. Seth Rollins thinking quicker. He's saying thinking smarter he's saying you want me come get me in the ring this match is supposed to be fought in the ring not in the crowd as your McIntyre runs gets the momentum on him gets a hold on him oh boy just wearing down Seth, Roll uh, Seth Rollins here is Drew McIntyre not really known for the tactical ability per se but uh who says they can't do it Reversal by Drew McIntyre. Oh, what a chop. Knocking down Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins rolling it out. Trying to catch a breather here. Definitely needs to catch it. Oh, no. Drew McIntyre just not letting him. Suplex back inside the ring. Oh, Seth Rollins has definitely suffered a lot of back moves this match. Oh, takes a chop like a man. Here we go. From out of nowhere. The stomp on the head. Going for the pin. Will this be it? No, it's not. Drew McIntyre is showing that he wants that World Heavyweight Champion bad. Seth Rollins clearly getting frustrated. Doesn't know what to do. What what does he have what does he have to do with put Drew McIntyre away? <clears throat> Drew McIntyre clearly wants that title, so does Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins willing to put his body on line. Oh, he almost hit the corkscrew moonsault. But Drew McIntyre rolls out of the ring. That veteran is Drew McIntyre. Oh, Seth Rollins just doesn't want to lose this match. Standing drop kick misses. Oh, no, he's going to hit him with it. He does right in the middle of the ring. Kick out at two and a half for Seth Rollins. Oh no, Seth Rollins is getting fired up here. This is not how you want to see Seth. Oh my goodness, Seth Rollins just knocking out Drew McIntyre in the middle of the ring. This has been one hell of a match here on Monday Night Raw. You want to see action like this anywhere like on Monday Night Raw. 
Seth Rollins has clearly done enough damage. Just saying to Drew McIntyre, come get some. Oh no. Don't get up. Don't get up, McIntyre. He does. And not the second time. A second stomp to the head. This definitely has to be. There's no way Drew is kicking out of this. One, two, three. One hell of a match we just witnessed here at Monday Night Raw. One hell of a match. Drew McIntyre tried every bit, every little bit to go to Money in the Bank. But he just, he was so short. So now we have an official, folks. Seth Rollins is going to face Braun Strowman next week on Monday Night Raw. To see who's going to compete against Christian at Money in the Bank for the World Heavyweight Champion. Congratulations to Seth Rollins. Drew McIntyre was really impressed with that match. He uh, He's definitely no loser in this match. He deserves at least something from winning this match. Let's see what Edge has to say about that. But uh, congratulations to Seth Rollins. He will compete against Christian at... I'm sorry. He will compete against Braun Strowman next week on Monday Night Raw. To see who will compete against Christian. And thank you for tuning in to Monday Night Raw.